What's up everyone? Craig with Single Length School and in this video, this is one of my favorites that I try to do every year. We're talking your options for single length or one length irons. Let's get started. <music> Alright, so if you are new to the channel, haven't yet done so, hit the subscribe button down below. Hit the notifications bell right beside it so you know when we release new videos. And don't forget, you can check us out on social media and you can check out our website, singlelengthschool.com. So, as I said in the opener, this is one of my favorite videos that I do. And I did it about this time last year and I do it off and on, but it seems to happen more towards the beginning of the year. Why? Because new guys are coming over to single length or one length irons. They're trying to prepare themselves for the upcoming season. And maybe some of you guys that have been playing single length irons are ready to take the next step in your single length journey. So what I like to do is give you guys options. Know what club manufacturers are out there. Know what clubs are out there and give yourself some time to think and decide on which single length or one length clubs are gonna be best to throw into your bag for the upcoming season. And as always, there's new models out there. There's new companies out there. There's new things to look for. So what I'm gonna do is give you a rundown of some different companies, some different models that you guys should check out based on your skill level and based on your budget. So let's take a look at and we'll start with the high-end models. For those of you guys that really have gotten comfortable with single length irons and really want to take your game to the next step, you've gotten down into the single digits in handicap and you really wanna be able to work the ball a little bit more, you really wanna be able to kind of have a better club in the bag. So let's take a look at some of these brands. Now, the first one that we wanna talk about is obviously gonna be the big daddy on the market. We want to take a look at Cobra's options, kind of for the higher end golfer. Now, last year they introduced the Forge Tech One Lengths, which is the hollow body cavity, the more pro style, more blade style design, but it has that cavity and it reminds you a lot of the TaylorMade P790s. So you have the Forge Tech model from Cobra, but you also can still find, not necessarily direct from Cobra, but on some other sites on the web, you can find the Forge Tech Blacks, which is what I currently play. And those are, again, designed for the better golfer, the better single length player. Now, both of those sets, the Forge Tech Blacks are actually down in price this year because they're no longer making them and you can no longer get them direct from Cobra. But the Forge Tech Blacks, you can probably find out there somewhere in the six to $800 range online. The Forge Techs, you're going to be spending over $1,000 for a new set of those. Now, Cobra's not the only company out there with some high-end gear. Let's take a look at another brand. And when I say this name, a lot of you guys are probably going to think putters, maybe even wedges, but we're talking Adele Golf. And Adele Golf is another brand out there. They've actually been making single-length irons a lot longer than what Cobra has. And there's a whole backstory, and that's worth a video in itself someday down the road. But David Adele and the team over there have done a great job at building single length irons. And in fact, they have their own shaft built to their specs from Patterson shafts that are designed specifically for single length irons. And you get custom fitted with Adele. So when you work with them, you can do a tele. Uh, telefit or you can go to a local fitter and send in all your specs. Now those clubs will run you upwards of $2,000, maybe a little bit more depending on your specs, but they are a blade style iron. They are designed for the better player and you can get those for through lob wedge the same as you can anything from Cobra. Now the last company that I want to talk about kind of in that higher echelon in single length or one length irons is going to be one iron golf and their Blackstone model. So the Blackstone model from One Iron Golf is geared for a better golfer. There's a lot more tech in it. It's designed to allow you to work the ball a little bit more. And again, it's designed for the better player. They build it with the better player in mind. 
you can go check out the Blackstone model on their website and they will do a floor to wrist fitting, which means they measure or you measure the club or the distance from the ground up to your wrist and send it in and they will custom build your Blackstones to that spec. And the last high end name we need to talk about, and it's one I don't know why, but sometimes I tend to forget these guys, is Wishon with the EQ1NX. Now, Tom Wishon, who is, I don't want to call him a clone manufacturer, but the company itself prides itself in making custom clubs. And they have their own name brand, they have their own club heads, and they're not modeling it off of anything out there. They're creating their own. And Tom Wishon was one of the spearheads behind the Sterling single length irons, which is no longer out there, but he's developed a newer model, the EQ1NX. And just like with Adele, Wishon allows you to fully customize these clubs to your specs. You get a fitting with a Wishon fitter, they send it over to the company and they build out from there. Now, these again are a higher end club designed for higher end or better players, lower handicappers. And again, I haven't tested these, but everything I've heard about these has been amazing. And at some point, just like with Adele and some of the other companies, I plan on reaching out to Tom and trying to pick his brain about the EQ1NX and see what's all in there and maybe get my hands on a set to test so I can give you guys some better feedback but again with it being a better players club the cost is going to be up there as well but it's another great option out there and as i said there's a lot of people saying great things about that as well so check out with sean now let's talk mid-range which i think a lot of guys usually get into when they're coming into single length or some of you guys will upgrade your current single length into another mid-range single length option for the mid-range we've got to go back and we'll go start with cobra again and with cobra this year they're introducing the rad speed one lengths you've also got last year's speed zones and if you can find them the f9 speedbacks those are all kind of cobra's mid-range options the rad speeds are going to cost you up in that 800 dollar range if you can find the speed zones from last year they're going to be a little bit less probably in that $600 range. And if you can find F9s, which are very hard to come by, again, not sold directly from Cobra, but if you can find those, you're going to get those for maybe four or 500 bucks. Now, as you guys know, I talked with Tom from Cobra during the PGA show and those three sets, the F9, the speed zone and the rad speeds are all very similar. And they all took a giant leap forward from the F7s and the F8s. So if you're looking to get a new set kind of in that mid-range, maybe you're a mid-range handicap guy, that's going to be your options from Cobra. Now, another company, and this is one that I've actually been able to test and review, and that's one of the other thing, guys. I haven't tested all of these brands. I want to give you guys the options. The only models that I've had the chance to review are the Cobra F7s, the Cobra Forge Tech Blacks, and this company, Pinhawk. And Pinhawk actually has two different sets for you, depending on your comfort level with the single length concept. They have the Pinhawk single length iron set, and they also have the Pinhawk Vertex, which is a dual length set. So let's talk about the single length set for a second from Pinhawk. Pinhawk's been doing it for a while as well. It's a brand of Value Golf, so you can go check out valuegolf.com. Again, Aaron and the guys at Value Golf sent me the single length set and the Vertex set towards the end of last summer for me to test. You guys can go check out on my channel those reviews, but Pinhawk's been at it for a while. The single length set, same idea. Seven length or seven iron length across the set there, four through lob wedge, a very good set, a very good option for those of you guys that want to be in that mid-range option. Pinhawk's done a great job of their R&D over the years and the Pinhawks really show it. Now, the Vertex is a dual length set. What's that mean? Well, your six through your wedges is one length and then your three, four, five is a little bit longer, but they're all the same. So your three, four, five are the same length and then your six through lob wedge are the same length, which 
helps guys make that transition from a variable set into a single length set. Again, I really enjoyed the Vertex Clubs. They were a great option. As I said, great option for you guys coming from variable length that aren't sure you're gonna be fully comfortable going to a true single length or one length set. The Pinhawk single length and the Vertex, they'll both run you somewhere in the neighborhood of six to $900, depending on what options you go with. Now, we're gonna revisit another company just as we did with Cobra in the high end. The same company is producing some mid-range models as well, and that's gonna be One Iron Golf. Again, I've not had the chance to test One Iron personally. I've heard a lot of guys have some great success, really like them, but in the mid-range, they actually have two models for you. They have their Pro line, which is kind of an upper end, maybe bottom end, um, or bottom of the high end, top of the mid-range with the uh, Pro line, some more pro-like features, some more blade-like features, a little bit more workability than the one iron, one iron set. So the one iron, one iron single length set is kind of their intro set, um, but it's a step above the bottom range of single length irons. And again, one iron golf does the Florida wrist measurements. You send that measurement in, they will build it to fit you, custom built to your size. And again, seem like great guys i haven't had the chance to work with them personally yet uh, hopefully over the summer i may get the chance they're actually a couple hours away in ohio i'm in pittsburgh so we're gonna try and work something out i'll reach out to those guys and see if we can't make something happen to where i can give you guys a better insight into the one iron options finally let's get into kind of the bottom tier i don't want to call these guys bottom tier but they offer single length irons for you to come in and test it out and do it for a couple hundred bucks. So we're talking brands like Pine Meadow, In One Zone, Giga Golf, and some other clone manufacturers out there. All of these guys offer single length options. Now, the one thing that kind of makes me put them in the bottom tier is that they haven't been doing it very long. They're new to the idea. And I haven't tested these models at all um, some guys have told me some great things about them, but I just find it personally hard to believe that being in the single length space for a year or two really puts you above a bottom tier company. Um, and bottom tier, I'm not putting as bad. I'm just saying they don't have the experience that some of these other companies have, and they're more geared towards game improvement options. So you're talking, you know, you can go on Pine Meadow, order it, have it in a couple days. It's not custom built to you. I mean, you can change the length on it and change the grips and such, but they're not custom built. They're really just for guys that want to spend a couple hundred dollars to try out the model. Uh, that's Pine Meadow, that's In One Zone, Giga Golf, and there's a couple other clone companies that offer single length options. Now, from what I've seen on the specs, they do have the idea of single length with it in terms of having the same head weight, same lie angles, and same length of the shaft. But again, I think that boils down to really wanting to get into the space, kind of take advantage of the Bryson effect, as I like to call it, and get their names out there so that guys that may be interested in trying single length can do so inexpensively and see if it's a fit for them. But again, I haven't tested any of the other brands aside from the Cobra Forge Tech, the Cobra F7, and the pinhawk options the single length and the vertex so i'm not a true expert on anything i can't compare it to anything but as i said i want to give you guys the options because there's some new models out on the market some new brands out on the market from the last time i've done this video so if you're looking into single length or looking to improve your single length options this is what i'm giving you you've got your high ends you've got your cobra adele and your one iron with the black stones in the mid-range, you've got your Cobra with the F9 speed zone and rad speeds. You've got the uh, Pinhawk options. You've got the one iron with the one iron set and the pro line set. And then you've got kind of the lesser known companies, the more introduction or intro sets with the Pine Meadows, the in one zones, Giga Golf, and the other clone guys. So hopefully this video helps you guys understand what options are out there for single length, regardless of whether you've been using them and are looking for a new set to upgrade 
or you're coming new to the idea and just want to give it a try. These are the companies you guys can look for, reach out to, check them out and see if there's a fit for you. Again, not by any means am I an expert because I haven't tried them all, but I did want to give you guys the options. I will link the companies down below for you guys to go check out. I'll put their names down there if you want to go look for the sets. So down in the description, I'll have all the links for Cobra, Adele, Pinhawk, all of those companies you can run down below in the description. Click on those, go check them out for yourself. And don't forget, hit that subscribe button, hit the notifications bell. Check us out on social media and at singlelinkschool.com. And until our next video, guys, thanks for watching. Let's golf smarter, not harder. And I'll see you in the fairways.